Hey everyone and welcome. Well, we had the lies, we caught them on the lies, and now we've got denial. The core is one, and I can behold the tide. Have a listen to just Justin, I'm a weft puppet, true don't, or true dork, and whatever you want to call him, squirm, because he knows that his lies have been caught, and now he's trying to say that he never said what he said. And he never did what he did. You must have just made it up in your minds. Have a listen to this. Misinformation and disinformation is carrying people to believe things that are untrue. And vaccinations is a perfect example of it. Like any modern bit of medical advancements, there are potential side effects in vaccinations. And there you know, are people who've probably gotten very sick from vaccinations on the billions of people who've been vaccinated against COVID over the past few years. But there are far more people who obviously have died due to COVID, died from not getting vaccinated. And the idea that people can fly in the face of science, well, individuals are allowed to make their own choices. There may be all sorts of different reasons why someone is hesitant to get vaccinated. But I make a distinction, and I have always have, between someone choosing for personal reasons to choose not to get vaccinated and someone deliberately using misinformation to mislead and scare other people with so-called facts that aren't facts at all that lead them to make a choice that endangers their lives and the lives of other citizens. So as Prime Minister, through the greatest public health crisis that we've faced in a hundred years in this country since the Spanish flu, my responsibility was to keep as many Canadians alive as possible. And all of the scientists and the medical experts and the researchers, not just in Canada, but around the world, understood that vaccination was going to be the way through this. And therefore, while not forcing anyone to get vaccinated, I chose to make sure that all the incentives and all the protections were there to encourage Canadians to get vaccinated. And that's exactly what they did. We got vaccinated to a higher level than just about any other of our peer countries. And that's why we had a less deadly pandemic than most other countries. This government has been focused every step of the way on following the best science, following the best public health advice to keep as many people safe as possible. And quite frankly, it's worked. We've seen uh, the curves uh, lower in Canada than elsewhere. We've seen lower death rates. We've seen quicker economic recovery because, because Canadians stepped up, because Canadians got vaccinated. And I can understand frustrations with mandates, but mandates are the way to avoid further restrictions. There you go. Mandates, 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 mandates. I didn't force anyone. It was body autonomy. You, it was up to them, the Canadians, to choose. Here's another one. Um, you're going to be able to get your vaccine as soon as you turn five. Uh, and I know you're excited and I know you're eager. Uh, in some places across the country, you can even start making your appointment now uh, for shortly after your birthday. So five-year-olds and another. Christia has outlined what the mandatory vaccination that's in place immediately for federal employees will look like. The bottom line, proof of vaccination will be required by no later than the end of this month for all federal employees. The list goes on and on and on. So when he says that he doesn't mind when people have a choice and chose not to because it was a personal choice, not according to everything he's been saying since it began. No, no, no. Mandate, 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 mandate. Coerce, bribe and threaten. Absolute joke this, man. Let me know what you think, though. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.